we assembled a team of 23 game developers in an attempt to win this year's GMTK Game Jam. We have 8 programmers, 3 game designers, 5 artists, 3 tech artists, 2 sound engineers and 2 idiots who are trying to keep this massive team organized. The GMTK Game Jam is essentially a game making competition where every team gets 2 days to make the best game they possibly can. There is no limit on the number of people per team. But that's only because having a bigger team is not necessarily an advantage. This might as well result in complete and utter chaos. Oh, oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's go. So even though we assembled the Avengers of game development, we must stay organized. And that's exactly why this video is sponsored by Myro. Myro is an infinite online whiteboard with real-time multiplayer, where basically your entire team can come together, add post-its, sketch things out, and get organized. I'll let you in on a little secret. We would have used Myro anyway. They got scammed out of money. <laughs> Here we have all of the availability times of the team mapped out on Myro so we can see who's available when. And right next to it we have a giant Kanban board where the entire team can keep track of their to-dos and see what everybody is working on. This is some inspiration that has already been put together by the art team. This corner belongs to our 2D artists and as you can see they were already very busy scribbling all over the place. What's awesome about Myro is that it's just a massive white space and you get to do with it whatever you want. The concept is stupidly simple and that's exactly what makes it so useful. And the best part is they have a ridiculous free version with almost no limitations. So just click the first link in the description and get yourself organized. Make a game that fits the following theme. Oh. So let us take on a role oh. that we I'm don't an artist now. get to play. Maybe that's... <laughs> so here's the game plan. Step one, we're gonna split into four groups for brainstorming. It's too confused in terms of concept. I am also wondering if like a lot of people on this game jam will have this idea and that it's gonna be a little it's mainstream. Step two, each mini team comes up with a game idea and presents it to the big team. We came up with a brilliant <laughs> master plan. We're making a reverse uh, escape room game where you start outside of the escape room and you're trying to lock yourself up real good. You're a poltergeist trying to stay undetected and ghost hunters, they're coming into your ha haunted house but actually the mansion is like uncontrollable. Like the mansion itself has kind of life of its own. Like, you have to always go there and make them stop, make the vase stop from falling down, stop the piano from <laughs> playing on its own. If that person sees something really on for long enough they're gonna take out the photo camera frantically and try to take a photo of it step three we rank the game ideas on this awesome to easy scale it seems like we're agreeing pretty much on the awesome scale i feel like the yeah. thing we're not really <laughs> agreeing on is the how easy it's gonna be scale on the easy scale is definitely up there for me personally i disagree because two of the points pro points you mentioned are actually con points that being that the room is small and then that makes it easier somehow. Step four, only the best idea survives. I feel like well, we I, I probably I mean, work I've around seen, these, I've uh, seen games get away with like not decorating rooms to the brim. Hard dev for twenty dollars. Will you increase your vote? <laughs> 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 Maybe for the second. <laughs> They're already working. <laughs> third person or top down. Third person. I still like the, the right. Wait, wait no, I, third I, person I because if you have a top down. Well, actually, no, you can. Mm, uh, I mean, <laughs> based on Shit. what people were saying earlier... With the delivery one, we spent a while debating no. it and never oh. actually came. Yeah, my wife we is gonna vote while, for me on the last one. We spent a while debating both. Okay, right, stop, up, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, remember the idea is just the starting point. I feel like the you know, game can still both, develop yeah, in a lot of different directions. Yeah, you're right. Oh, no. 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 Come on. Come yeah! On. Who wants twenty dollars? <laughs> I would like twenty dollars. We're gonna do the uh, haunted house. Don't get caught by the ghost ha uh, hunters. But I don't. Uh, I don't know if I fully understand the scope in order to discuss it with yeah. my group. Yeah, that is why the. Uh, game design team has to get on that ASAP and hopefully define okay. it. Come on, bit. guys! Come <laughs> so, on, go, 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 go! go. Programmers, okay, let's, uh, oh, let's yeah, stand okay, our right, let's go to Step five, Yen and the rest of the team will start getting to work and writing the to-dos. Step six, I and the rest of the game design team squeeze as much as possible out of the idea 
Oh, what if you could teleport to the objects you can interact with? I, I feel like some ghost-like movement abilities would be, would be very nice. Step seven. Chaos breaks loose. <laughs> Work, you lazy fools. Okay, we should probably get our area, some area on the Myro board. Uh, yes. Woo. Among Us. I'm thinking of that Among Us. <laughs> Is it some gameplay relevant thing? Um, we're not that far yet. <laughs> we're just getting started. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the pressure is on with such a huge team. What if you can kind of teleport to things that are on your screen or in your vision range? Like a, a spooky object. I want old man, prankster house, really young nerdy cameraman. Mm -hmm. But up to you guys. <laughs> No, no, you're, 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 you're actually Not the writer, like so this. that, yeah, is, yeah, that yeah. is up to you. You get to decide this, man. <laughs> I don't like this! Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what is your idea of the win state or lose state? Sound effects? Are we doing spatial audio? I did not sign up for this. So it's like a thing well, might thinking... threaten to do something and then the NPC might go to it. And we need to know if they saw it do the thing or not. I would say you all stop what you're doing right now and just all go read the design document because you're you're spinning in communication okay. circles. It's, <laughs> it's a bit painful okay. to listen to. And nobody's working on the actual interaction. Um, so somebody yeah, no. player movement, but nobody's working no. on. Yeah, so someone, oh. please! I'm, I, I'm I don't like waiting it. for. I'm waiting yeah. for. Is that the same thing? That's what I thought it was referring to. We have some stuff being worked on. That is fantastic. First tasks are being finished, and most importantly, we know what we are creating. I drafted a little game design document together with them. Um, the rest of the game design team. So now hopefully we all know what we're working on and we actually got to work. Oh, that is fantastic. That is fantastic. Oh, uh, holy crap. That was a crazy evening. I'm kind of through, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh man, that was something. That was something for sure. <laughs> oh God, today's gonna be a freaking hot day. I'm already sweating like crazy and the day has only just begun. Let's hop right in. Uh, hey Jonas. Hey. Uh, we were just figuring out where to put the Cool, cool. Keep doing what you're doing. You're, you're the design team. So it seems like a lot of features are starting to come together. That sounds great. And this is the admin page on itch. LOL! And that's not even all of them. That took me like half an hour to just add all of the team members. <laughs> okay, so um, I have to go get my first coffee so I don't get uh, um, a headache. <laughs> uh, I did not have breakfast yet, so I'm probably gonna do that as well. Oh god. Yeah, probably a good idea. Day two was very rough. Things were feeling very, very slow and sluggish, even though we were getting a lot of tasks done. The game was not really coming together properly because all of the programmers were kind of working on different features and the communicational challenges were even more of a hindrance than on the first day. There are some not applied overrides to the player character prefab, I see. Uh. Maybe, maybe that's the problem. Are you using the mansion scene? <clears throat> I did briefly, but I don't need it right now, so... Okay, I'm gonna take it. Yeah, take it. Programming, missing texture man, could do some programming. The question is, what needs to be done? What even needs to be done? <laughs> uh, descent into chaos activated. Things were broken, everything looked super unfinished, and we had problems left and right. By the way, I have noticed um, an issue with mm. the enemies again. We have the random point thing, but the reason they're getting stuck in that one position is because it's choosing the same point over and over and over again. No. This Git repo is moving so fast that I'm not used to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's new it's stuff every again. time. Are you sure you committed the hunter prefabs? Yes, I committed like 
Why? It says, okay, so on my GitHub it says 20 minutes ago. But then if I go on GitHub, it's not there. I mean, I also don't see it on GitHub, so... Oh, that doesn't... That's not good because uh, you cannot read anything because my... But you... I'm pretty sure you committed some stuff before that we saw in our projects, right? Yes. <laughs> it looks so <laughs> good. No, it looks so good. good. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, this is really fun to watch. Yeah. I, I need to stop watching it so I can be productive. <laughs> Not what's the end of the day. Things are starting to come together a little bit better, but it's still looking a little dire. We don't really have gameplay figured out yet. We had to make some emergency gameplay changes because we felt like the gameplay wasn't really moving in a good direction yet. There were some pretty obvious issues with the gameplay, like just holding a button to diffuse an object that was kind of lame and balancing issues left and right and it just looks like a complete mess right now. So I'm a little bit worried. Still a lot left to do. Wish us luck. All right, today's the day where we turn this around. I can feel it. Let's go. Holly from Mashup Games just joined us and started posting bug reports. So that is <laughs> that is amazing. I mean, it was obvious that there were gonna be a couple of bugs. So it's uh, great that we have somebody on that. I'm not even sure if, how far did people get yesterday? How far did we get? Let's check out the Unity project. Okay, it's updating for quite a while. That's, that's a good sign. Yo. I'm excited. Um, that is not a good sign. <laughs> that is an excellent sign. Oh my god, look at that. We are here now. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be tight. <laughs> okay, we have a little bit of a background illustration here. You haunting me? Or am I haunting you? Oh my god, they're shading, shaking their booties. <laughs> Say cheese. Oh. Okay, the game is a lot further than last time. Say cheese! Oh god, this ain't really fun. You got caught, but there's there's nothing suspicious Darkness here. Fall. Okay, okay, see there's some work to do, but they made a lot of progress, which is which is very nice. Yeah, so starting to get the balancing right, cause at the moment it's, it's playable at least. I'm already uh, happy and excited about that. <laughs> uh, but yet it's not necessarily qu fun yet, right? No, it isn't. it isn't. Yeah, silly idea. Haunted objects just turn on and off when you touch them. So we get rid of the timer entirely when you touch them. Ah, but... I thought about something like this like on uh, yesterday morning, but I wasn't sure um, if it like throws away like half the game loop yeah and also the the markers on the screen at the moment they're kind of confusing as well like everything's just very confusing mm -hmm. the clock was ticking we wasted a ton of time just to get the gameplay up and running and now that we had the first game loop we realized it felt terrible there were some tough decisions ahead of us coming from a, a place of i didn't really know a lot going into it i think kind of the main thing for me is that i just couldn't really see anything it it's dark? all very dark yeah okay uh, there's a lot of code to look at i feel like i should just rewrite the oh my god there Oh man, at this point everybody's blood pressure really started rising. We were running out of time and we knew it. Oh yeah, that's just a bug. I can, I'll fix that as well. Oh no, did I crash Unity? No. Uh, hello? <laughs> uh, Putty, there's still a very ugly placeholder UI in the game. The, the, the heart that fills up when interaction. you... Interaction. I'm on it. Yeah. It's almost... Ah, you're on it. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like we... Need to really think very hard what the most important things are now and right. just get people on them. Do we have somebody on the AI bug fixes? Show us, show us. Oh, I was muted. Hello, hello. <laughs> I was already uh, hype talking to you. The question for that is what needs fixing? That the AI just keeps uh, standing there, not doing anything. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the thing is we don't really have programmers. Mm. Oh? 
thing is the WebGL uh, problem does not go away. Does not go away. We know it's a memory issue. Something is either causing a memory leak or something is expanding in memory once you load the haunted mansion. <sighs> Sorry if I'm a bit dumb or my brain is just mush. What do you do with these objects? Like, I don't get entirely... And at this point I was almost ready to throw in the towel. We really had to simplify. I'm constantly eating. We're your panic eating. <laughs> we removed the teleport, sorry for whoever wrote that. And in between panicking, we fixed as many problems as we could. Another one. Another one. Another one. Okay, yeah. I can upload this for you. Thank you. The bug I just fixed got undone for some reason. I don't understand how things get overwritten like this though. We have 40 minutes, just soon. Have you pushed Holy this new fuck, lighting? I'm at 30 viewers. Apparently this is what people want to see. Yeah, you people struggling. want to see you stressed out. <laughs> God, yeah, Wait, it's broken really now bad. on Git. Why is it broken it on Git now? Then fix it. Now. I, oh, it's my gosh. <laughs> Huh? This the is child, I don't not, Okay, folks, I, I need, we need to set a deadline here. We have a two minute deadline here. I was almost really losing hope for the game, but look at that, the game came together really nicely. It looks awesome, it plays way better than I expected, and it is possible to understand it. What? Say cheese. Well, we wow. did it. We still have the open, everyone. <laughs> Oh wow. so, my God. so what lessons did we learn from this entire madness? One, making yourself useful as a team leader is unexpectedly difficult. It feels like nobody really needs you, but simultaneously the entire house is on fire. Two, if we ever do this again, I think we need a dedicated prototyping team that can get some gameplay up and running fast. Like fast. Because we arrived at a playable state way too late and I think the gameplay suffered a lot from that. And three, allowing a team of any size in game gems is really not a loophole after all. Big teams make things a lot easier in some ways and a lot more difficult in other ways, so I think that ends up evening out quite nicely. Here are our final ratings. At this point, big congrats to everybody who scored higher than us. You managed to beat out a 23 people tryhard team. Well done. Oh, yeah. We did. We, we, right made we made it. We made a game. <laughs> we made a game. Congrats, yeah. everyone. Oh, 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 oh my god, we made a game. <laughs> we made a game. If I, I had to... Um, describe this experience in two words, I would say primarily terrifying. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. But overall, I feel like we did really well. And I'm, yes. and I, I would, oh, yeah. I would do this again. I would do yeah. this <laughs> every single yeah, time exactly. I got it off. Of. Let's actually look at the finished Nero Bart. Everybody was using that quite a lot, as you can see. So you can see the 3D team used this quite heavily for inspiration. We used it for prototyping game design over here. We used it to build some flowcharts for the programming, even used it for the map design over here. There are so many different ways to put Miro to use. And yeah, <laughs> we used it quite heavily. We used it yeah, for almost everything. Wild, absolutely wild. Thanks to Miro for believing in us and for sponsoring this video. If you ever need an online whiteboard tool, then check out the link in the description. You can get started for entirely free. And also huge, huge thank you to all of my team members. I could not have done this without you. And that's why I'm linking to all of your social accounts. From Rockpark who worked through the entire night to Saiga, who was constantly on the most important bug fixes. Everybody did such an amazing job. It was such a joy. Special thanks also to Yen for helping me with this. And with helping, I mean doing pretty much all of the important prep work. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.